Top Must Visit Destinations in Panama City Looking for interesting places to visit in Panama City? From the San Blas Island to the Panama Canal, traveling to Panama is an amazing experience and we've got enough places for you to visit. We hope that this video will help you better understand Panama and motivate you to travel there. Before we get into it, like the video, make sure to subscribe to our channel to see more content like this. Number 1. Panama City Panama City, the country's capital and largest city, is full of noteworthy features. It's also the most advanced city in the Central America and the provincial and national capital. Its unofficial moniker, the Dubai of the Latin America, should give you an idea of its modernity. High-end hotels, shopping centers, opulent skyscraper line every inch of the city. Taxis are the preferred mode of transportation, just like in New York. Most city dwellers won't take a walk longer than a half mile. The cobblestone streets, colonial structures of the historic district, Casco Viejo, are more pedestrian friendly if you prefer the flexibility of walking. The Panamanian rainforest surrounds Panama City and extends into its boundaries, providing some of the best waves in the country. Experience the Panama Canal's might by skydiving over it, climbing the Bridge of the Americas for a spectacular view of the city, or renting a bike to ride to the four islands off the Amador Causeway. The Panama Canal is unquestionably the highlight of this multicultural capital. Number 2. The Panama Canal One of the most well-known sites in Panama, and in fact, all of the Central America, is the Panama Canal. The waterway, which connects Colon at the Atlantic side of the Panama City on the Pacific side, offers a direct route between the two oceans and is one of the busiest shipping hubs on the planet. It was first built by the French in the late 19th century, but after thousands of workers got sick with diseases like malaria and yellow fever and died, the project was abandoned in 1893. Ten years later, the United States took control using equipment that was much more potent. This enormous engineering achievement was finished in 1914. Three major locks in all provide access to the canal system and are the best locations to see how the canal works in action. Especially when weaved from the Mara Flores Visitor Center, which is located just outside the capital. It's a very interesting place to visit as a tourist center. Number 3. Pearl Islands A group of islands in the Pacific, known as Panama's Pearl Islands, was a major plot point for three seasons of the reality television program Survivor. They're among the most stunning islands in the world, distinguished by the pearl white sand beaches and forested islands. Although the isolation of the islands makes them more beautiful, Cantadora Island is the most developed, has two upscale resorts. The Pearl Islands were once inhabited by the native Indians until the 16th century, when the Spanish conquerors arrived in search of the island's prized namesake pearls. The pearl trade was significant in this area, and the island of the Cantadora, which means counting island, was where the pearls were counted, registered, and shipped. The majority of the activities are leisurely, take a nap on one of the many beautiful beaches, go fishing or whale watching, or explore the old shipwreck that's rusting away on the opposite side of the Playa Larga, the largest beach on the Cantadora Island. Number 4. Bocas del Toro In the Caribbean Sea, between Almirante Bay and Chiriqui Lagoon, there's a group of islands, isles, and caves known as the Bocas del Toro Archipelago. The island group, which is part of the district of the Bocas del Toro and home to a sizable city by the same name, is situated in the northwest of Panama. Water taxis, private boats, make it easier for tourists to explore the islands. An Isla Colon, which has an international airport, is also reachable by ferry and plane. This enchanted wonderland is made up of the wild jungle, national parks, biodiverse habitats for numerous birds and marine turtles. Interesting fauna and flora, some of which are unique to Bocas del Toro and can be found here. Howler monkeys, green iguanas, and panning rabbits are just 
some of the endangered species here. Diving and snorkeling are well-liked activities in the Caribbean because of the region's gorgeous beaches and clear blue waters. The province's capital, Bocas del Toro, is a cosmopolitan city that is home to many different ethnic groups, including those from the Western Caribbean, Latinos, extraneous, all of which have distinct foods and customs. Additionally, while most islands are geared towards relaxing, Pakistan has a surprisingly lively nightlife scene up to the sunsets. Number 5. San Blas Islands A group of islands that are off the Caribbean coast is known as the San Blas Islands. The native Kuna Yela tribe, which speaks Talukia, is in charge of running them. The islands, a well-liked backpacker destination on the route between the Colombia and Panama, are gradually gaining in popularity with tourists. However, you can still see examples of the daily life in indigenous community today, where ATMs are non-existent. Electricity isn't always a given. Visitors are advised to bring a sizable amount of cash with them. On the San Blas Islands, one can spend time swimming, snorkeling, diving among the hundreds of tropical fish species, in addition to the sun bathing on the island's pristine palm-lined beaches. Hiking paths through the dense vegetation provide waves of the colorful birds, howling monkey sounds. A good way to learn about the Kunayala Indians' culture, language, music, distinctive dress is to pay them a visit. The tribe's members frequently hold festivals and dances and sell handicrafts that are useful as mementos. Number 6. Santa Catalina Santa Catalina, a small fishing community off the Pacific coast of the Panama, is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the region. In actuality, the majority of the tourists are drawn to the village's isolation and unaltered authenticity. In addition, Santa Catalina is a well-known surfing and diving location with wonderful beaches and a frequent entry point to the Cuiba National Marine Park. Santa Catalina is a small enough to be thoroughly explored on foot. Visitors won't find any significant man-made landmarks, attractions, or shopping centers in this sleepy village. But they will find friendly locales, a relaxed atmosphere, sandy beaches with opportunities for swimming, snorkeling, diving, and sport fishing. Santa Catalina is a surfer's paradise because it has some of the Central America's best and most consistent surf breaks. The idyllic surroundings of the village offer opportunities for bird watching, horseback riding. It is suggested that you travel during the daytime hours, as cattle can cause unexpected dangerous roadblocks, given that the Santa Catalina can only be reached from the sauna by a single winding paved road. Number 7. Bakiti Bakiti Village, which is in the Chiriki province in the Pacific West, is a great place to relax. A patchwork of stunning coffee plantations surrounds you as you breathe in plenty of fresh mountain air. This small town mountain village, which is home to a surprising number of the North American expats, has developed into a health tourism hotspot with a number of opulent spas and accommodations. Bikini focuses on the outdoors for people who want to get a wash. All year long, the temperature is low at 70 degrees centigrade. It's known as the land of eternal springtime because of this. It also goes by the name the Valley of the Flowers, provides a less well-known option to Costa Rica tourist attractions. Here, you can be as daring as you like. Explore the Barra Volcano by hiking, whitewater rafting, zip lining through the rainforest, or going on a trek to look for howler monkeys and brilliant quetzals. Or just take your time while sipping on some of the best coffees as you stroll through the charming coffee plantations in the area. Number 8. Gulf of Chiriki Between Costa Rica and Asvera Peninsula, the Pacific coastline is home to the Gulf of Chiriki. There are two national parks there, Golfo de Chiriki National Park and Coiba National Park, and it's also the largest island in Panama. It's made up of countless picturesque marine islands and beaches that are topped with forests and cocoa palms. This marine park, which was created in 1994, safeguards countless hectares of the coral reefs, some of the Central America's richest mangrove forests and beautiful coastal meadows. The Calamia Island Resort, 
Isla Palenque and Isla Secas Islands have the most tourist-oriented attractions. Between May and November, Cuiba National Park is a well-liked location for humpback whale watching, and on the distant island of the Mentos Galapagos seals occasionally surface. Sunbathing on one of the incredible beaches is encouraged for those who would rather relax and taking the island lifestyle, while those looking for a little more activity can find it in surfing, scuba diving, or sport fishing. Number 9. Vulcan Burrow The highest point in Panama, Vulcan Burrow, provides some of the most breathtaking views of the Costa Rica as well as the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans. The mountain which is in the Pacific West Cherokee province, is easiest to climb in the early morning when you can enjoy a breathtaking sunrise from the summit. You have two options for making sure you get there in time. Either hike up the day before and camp at Fugan's campground near the summit or start the hike around midnight and hike back later that day. The Bakita route, which takes five to eight hours to ascend and three to five hours to descend, is the shortest but also the most difficult. The steeper and significantly more picturesque boutique route up and walking route down are popular choices. Make sure you give yourself more time to acclimatize because you will be climbing 3,474 meters above the sea level in total. Mild altitude sickness is also a possibility. Number 10. Il Valle de Anton In the Cucal province of the central Panama, there is a charming little Panamanian village called El Valle de Anton. It's the oldest continuously inhabited volcanic site on Earth, with local families climbing the hills, swimming here for centuries amid an ancient volcanic caldera. It's a prime example of the old Panama, where life is slower. Bicycles are the preferred mode of transportation due to their isolation from the rest of the civilization. The village doesn't have many examples of the Western consumerist culture. The only places that cater to tourists or an ice cream shop and a pizza restaurant that is only open on weekends. Il Valle de Anton, on the other hand, is standard on nature, and there is a lot of it. Visit the nearby Orchid Conservatory or the Amphibian Rescue Facility, which house just a few of the 10,000 plants and numerous amphibian species that call Panama home. The valleys of the El Valle are home to some of the rare golden frogs an impressive collection of the waterfalls. Nearby forests provide excellent bird watching opportunities. Panama is worth exploring because you will, without a doubt, be enthralled by the many delightful surprises that are in store for you. Which of these places will you like to tour? Let's hear your weaves in the comments section. If you did not subscribe to our channel and like the video, do so now to see more content like this. Thank you for watching and happy traveling.